Hello and welcome to the video. It is nearly that time of year again. We are coming up to the Christmas season. It is coming to the months where everybody starts hustling and bustling for what presents they're gonna find for their children, their friends, their partners. You know, it's that time of year that everybody kind of loves but also hates at the same time because, well, it's like having a drill in your pocket, right? I have a question in this video which is, why should you buy a Nintendo Switch during this Christmas season in 2024? Okay, I'm gonna get something out of the way first. Yes, there are rumors of a Nintendo Switch 2 coming out next year. Apparently it's gonna be released by rumor very early at some point next year. I personally myself, I don't think that. I think it's gonna be more of a Christmas thing next year. So that's kind of what I think Nintendo will do with it. However, what I think because of this, what I want to do is I want to kind of talk about why you should buy a Nintendo Switch. And yeah, I mean, it's obviously the elephant in the room is the question, but Sam, the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out very soon. Why would I buy a Nintendo Switch now when I should just wait for the next Nintendo Switch console? Yeah, you could do that and you know, I wouldn't blame you. But what I will say is you would, if you haven't got a Nintendo Switch just yet, you know, if you haven't got one at all, like what have you been doing? This console's been out for over seven years. You have missed out on a, an amazing console. And I wanna talk about 10 things about why you should have a Nintendo Switch and get one for this Christmas. So if you are thinking about it, if you're thinking about getting a Christmas present for your children or for yourself, partner, your friends, whatever, these are 10 reasons why you should buy the Nintendo Switch. I will start off with this one, which I think is the most fair reason for getting a Nintendo Switch. And that is the price. So Nintendo Switch currently, and I think it's proven it from what has just happened a couple of weeks ago with the PlayStation 5 Pro being at £699 in this country. The Nintendo Switch OLED model is way cheaper. <laughs> it's like around the £300 mark if you're in the UK. I personally would go for that console over in PlayStation at the moment, a PlayStation 5. While it's awesome specs wise and graphics and that, it does not live up to the Nintendo Switch in my opinion. I generally think the Nintendo Switch is still out of the three consoles this generation. And I'm not being biased here, I'm genuinely being honest saying it's the best console of this generation. One of the reasons for that is because of the portability. This console is extremely portable. You can take it absolutely anywhere. So Nintendo Switch is designed to be a hybrid console which you can take on the road or you can play it anywhere in your house or you can play it docked onto the TV if you want to. So it's a hybrid console and that is the reason why it doesn't have as high specs as the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5 purely because it's a console that's designed to be a handheld and a home console at the same time. And that's one of the things that I really love about this console and it's proven it that it's the future of Nintendo and the future of gaming because even Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 are trying to cash in on the relevance of a handheld console by releasing something like PlayStation Portal, which is nowhere near as good as a Nintendo Switch in my opinion, purely because you are streaming off that device. Whereas with the Nintendo Switch, you are literally playing the games natively because they come with cartridges which you insert into your Nintendo Switch. And that gives you best performance. Most of the time when I play my Switch, I'm lying in my bed in the evenings before I go to bed, just playing on my Nintendo Switch, playing some Xenoblade Chronicles or some Legend of Zelda, you know, that's exactly what I do. So talking about the Nintendo Switch, we then move on to the different designs of the Nintendo Switch. There's three of them. And you can either choose from, and I've got in front of me, the original Nintendo Switch. This is the one that most people have. Uh, this is the mid-range Nintendo Switch that you can get. Honestly, this is the full package. It's great if you just want to get the normal Nintendo Switch. It does everything that all the other Nintendo Switches does. Uh, obviously it's not the best performance and it doesn't have the best screen on it. I'm just going to show off what the next model is, which is the best model for Nintendo Switch and that is the Nintendo Switch OLED model. And this is the Nintendo Switch OLED. It's basically a bigger screen console. It's a full screen, like it takes over the whole Switch. Um, it has a better kickstand at the back, so you can actually put this down because the original has this tiny one here which isn't as good. Um, but it works, it does work, it's just very flimsy. You've always got that risk of your Nintendo Switch falling over. Whereas the earlier model is a lot more stable. It feels nicer, it's a little bit more weighty, this one. You can take out the Joy-Cons, which is awesome, so you can play like this, or you can have what is the connector piece, which comes with the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch OLED model as well, which is the best, comes with better sound as well, so if you're playing without headphones, this has the best version of sound. Whereas this one doesn't have as great a sound, but it still sounds pretty good in my opinion. Whenever I played this version handheld, it's still just as good. Like I say, the screen isn't as big, like it 
doesn't go quite to the edge if you can just see that kind of like black frame around the screen whereas like I say the OLED version uh, is a lot bigger. This is an OLED screen, obviously it's in the name, whereas this is an LCD screen, which isn't as bright, isn't as sharp, isn't as crisp. They are both amazing consoles in general, like they both do exactly what you want them to do. So yeah, I do recommend this version. If you just want to play Nintendo Switch, it's a perfectly good version of the console. However, if you want to spend a little bit more money just for a little bit better gameplay, a little bit better quality, this is the best version to get. I definitely recommend the OLED. Now, there is another model you can also get known as the Nintendo Switch Lite. I don't have the Nintendo Switch Lite, unfortunately. It's basically a stripped down version of the Nintendo Switch. It's a lot smaller. Uh, it's more like a handheld console. It focuses on being a handheld. You can't remove the Joy-Cons on it. It comes basically all attached. So just imagine this is a smaller Switch. Basically these Joy-Cons, which are supposed to be removed on this version, they can't be removed and you can't also dock it to the TV, the Nintendo Switch Lite. I'll just show you what it looks like on the screen. If you want to go for a cheaper version of Nintendo Switch, which is probably better for children, if you just want them to have a console to play on it's a little bit smaller you know for their hands and stuff like that it's also a good reason to have a Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo Switch Lights are still really nice they come in a variety of colors as well another thing about these Nintendo Switches is they are extremely customizable so they come in different varieties so you've got the different color Joy-Cons so like for example I've got a white one here I've got the blue one as well you've got the red ones you know there's loads and loads of different colors there's even special ones which are designed to like video games for example there's Pokemon ones there's Zelda versions you can look out for them there's Splatoon versions all sorts of different joy cons to look out for that's something that is really cool about the Nintendo switch is how customizable it is so for example I can now I've taken off the joy cons I can switch them around so they look like this so I can add in another joy con onto the Nintendo switch and it be customized like this so you can have different colors or for example the one up here if you can just see it there's a blue and a red one there you can customize your nintendo switch however you like you know there's so many different colors and ranges some of the nintendo switches actually come with designs on the back so for example there's a pokemon design or a zelda design a splatoon one not only that but the consoles come with a variety of accessories you can add so for example if you don't like playing with the joy cons you can get this awesome thing which is the nintendo switch pro controller really really recommend picking this up if you are a gamer that likes to play on TV. This console controller is awesome. I actually genuinely think this might be one of the best gaming controllers ever made. It's so good. It really is. It feels really nice in the hands. It's got like the rubber grips. It's got bumper buttons at the back which feel really really nice and responsive. The buttons feel nice. The analog sticks feel really great. I've actually made a video in the past about this controller so do check that out. You can also get things like steering wheels which you can attach to your Joy-Cons to make it feel like you're driving. So if, for example if you used to like the game Mario Kart Wii which came with a steering wheel you can get that for your Joy-Cons and play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe exactly the same way and it works really well. So there's lots and lots of different accessories for your Nintendo Switch if you really want to go down that route. There's a lot of like motion control games on Nintendo Switch so the accessories often come in quite useful. If you want to feel like you're a bit more immersed into the games you know these accessories do work well another thing about the nintendo switch is the awesome library of games on this console i've got a few in this collection right here that i'm just going to show off animal crossing new horizons one of the most popular games on nintendo switch astral chain an awesome hack and slash video game which everyone should play bayonetta games are on nintendo switch awesome games for more mature gamers if you want to play mature games bayonetta is a great series for that and it's nintendo produced Fire Emblem Free Houses, one of the best games on Nintendo Switch by a mile. It's like playing live chess with huge battles. Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime Remasters, amazing, awesome Metroidvania games, which really do show off why Metroid is the best series in that genre. Super Mario Odyssey, one of the most awesome Mario games ever made. Probably the best 3D Mario there is. Really awesome game, check this out. Super Smash Bros Ultimate. This game is endless fun. It's a great party game if you want to play with a load of people. It's very pick up and play. Amazing game. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, probably the best game on Nintendo Switch. And also Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, also probably the best game on Nintendo Switch. As well as Xenoblade Chronicles 3. If you want to get into JRPGs, this is one of the greatest JRPGs ever made. And that's just a handful of Nintendo games on the console. I mean, I've got a whole collection there. There's so many games out there I've never talked about that I really want to show off and put into my collection. You should check them out. Honestly, the 
library of games on Nintendo Switch is second to none. Probably the greatest console for games. Not just that, but the games on Nintendo Switch, some of them are from older consoles, for example, like there's games from the PS3, from the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 1 games are on Nintendo Switch. You've got GameCube games, you've got Nintendo Wii games. It's an emulator for some of the greatest games ever made out there. So definitely do check out the Nintendo Switch library of games. You will not be disappointed. It's probably the best thing about Nintendo Switch. Like I've also said as well, there's a lot of games out there on Nintendo Switch that are just pick up and play games. There's motion control games, which are so easy to play. If you loved the Nintendo Wii and you maybe had like say a party round where you played on Nintendo Wii and say your grandma or something like that was playing Nintendo Wii Sports. You can do that on Nintendo Switch. There is a Nintendo Switch Sports on Nintendo Switch, which does exactly the same thing. And obviously Mario Kart as well is the game to get on Nintendo Switch. It's the highest selling game on console and it's easily the best party game ever made. Also that with the Nintendo Switch, there is the ability to play co-op right off the bat. You don't have to have two controllers. The console comes with two controllers already. Yes, okay, the controllers are quite small, but they aren't terrible. I don't hate the Joy-Cons. Some people do. You've literally got two controllers and you can play straight off the bat with two different Joy-Cons, a game multiplayer. It's that simple, that easy. And if you add more Joy-Cons, I think you can have up to four players on Nintendo Switch. There is obviously consoles out there with the opportunity to add more controllers to the console, but the Nintendo Switch does exactly what it needs to do. So four players is enough, I feel. Obviously when you play online, there's more people to play with. Another thing as well is the indie games that are available on Nintendo Switch and also the eShop. Yes, yeah, okay, the eShop does have problems. However, there is a huge collection of video games on the eShop. A lot of them are indies. For example, there's Shovel Knight, Hollow Knight, Celeste, Hades available on Nintendo Switch. There's just so many Nintendo Switch indie games to look through and play. It's one of the best things about Nintendo Switch is how simple it is to just pick up games for cheap and just play them. They you know, short and sweet games that are just awesome. You know, lots of indies on there. One of my favorites is Undertale and Undertale is that great of a game that plays so great on Nintendo Switch. So I do highly recommend checking out the indies as well, which come on Nintendo Switch. eShop is very simple. It's not the greatest, the eShop, but it does work. It does its job. So there we go. Another great thing about Nintendo Switch is the Nintendo Switch Online feature, which you can also add an expansion pack to. So the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack, the whole of Nintendo Switch Online will give you access to things like Nintendo 64 games, Nintendo Entertainment System games, Super Nintendo Entertainment System games, Mega Drive games slash Genesis if you're in the US, Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games. There's so many old, old retro games available through Nintendo Switch Online to pick up and play as soon as you have Nintendo Switch Online with the expansion pack. Yes, okay, there is a fee to it. You do have to pay for it and it's a yearly fee. However, if you can find multiple people to do the family pack of the expansion pack, it's very, very cheap. That's what I do. My Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack is with my family and we pay like six pound each and that's for a full year of over 200 plus games that are just some of the greatest games ever made especially like nintendo 64 games or the super nintendo entertainment system games highly recommend getting nintendo switch online obviously if you're going to look for those games physically if you're a retro collector you will know how expensive those games are to pick up and buy in real life money you know they're so expensive and also you get extra cloud storage with nintendo switch online as well so all of your save data goes straight to the cloud and if you say want to buy a new nintendo switch say you want to go from the original console to the oled you can then just transfer all your data straight onto the new console it works so well i highly recommend nintendo switch online as well when it first came out people were like eh, this isn't very good the price range is too high for what we've got now like three years later, three, four years later, it's awesome. I love Nintendo Switch Online and I've never complained about it because it's great. Take that as someone who has grown up with Nintendo and loves playing the older Nintendo games. And then of course, there is no doubt lots of future releases coming for Nintendo Switch. In this timeline right now, where we're in 2024, at Christmas time, the biggest games to pick up currently are Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, Mario and Luigi Brothership, there's also Pokemon Legends Z to A coming out as well. I don't know if that's a Nintendo Switch game. It might be a Nintendo Switch 2 game. They've not confirmed it yet. Also Metroid Prime 4, which is a must play coming up. 
highly recommend picking up that game when it comes out. If it's a Nintendo Switch game, which it's looking like it might be, if you've already got your Nintendo Switch ready for that game, it is going to be an absolute blast, that game. So yeah, I really recommend it. There's so many future releases coming out for Nintendo Switch. I'm expecting there to be a Nintendo Direct eventually at some point this half of the year that's going to show off even more Nintendo Switch games coming out and also any future like games coming out next year. And another awesome thing about the Nintendo Switch is the upgradable storage. So in the back of here, you'll see this little compartment here and you can just see it's like a white line. Press that in, take this out. And that is a micro SD. This one is 512 gigabytes. So that's basically the size of like a PlayStation 4. You can put that into your Nintendo Switch. It's basically been upgraded to a 512 gigabyte console with all of my memory on it. So yeah, that's awesome. That's a lot of memory available on Nintendo Switch on a memory card. I found that memory card online very cheap on Amazon and it's worked very well. It's a Samsung memory card as well. So you can buy the official Nintendo Switch micro SDs, but any micro SD will fit into your Nintendo Switch so you can upgrade the storage. Let's go to the question of should you buy one now even though Nintendo Switch 2 is likely to be coming out very soon. I'm just going to say Nintendo haven't announced anything properly yet. They have said there is a Nintendo Switch successor coming but we don't know yet. No one knows. There was rumours that it was going to be in September that it was announced. I'd never try to believe rumours until Nintendo actually announced them themselves because they are the people who know everything about Nintendo. You know, They know more than anyone on the internet can ever tell you. So I just wait for them to announce it. That's all I'm gonna say. It could happen very soon. It's the risk you take, but it could also happen a long way away. I'm expecting the Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever it's called, the successor to the Nintendo Switch, to be released at the end, towards like Christmas time next year. And um, it'll be Nintendo's big console for the Christmas season. So that's all I'm gonna say. I think if you're gonna get a Nintendo Switch, now is the final time to really get one. If you've liked the video, please give me a like, a comment, a subscribe. Let me know which games you're looking forward to at Christmas and which Nintendo Switch console you are looking to buy. Because I imagine that if you are watching this video, it's probably the question you're trying to answer for yourself. So let me know in the comments which one you're looking to buy and I'll talk to you about it. Also check out this video here, right here because this is a video where I talk about Nintendo Switch. I show you how to buy Nintendo Switch for a lot cheaper. I actually bought a Nintendo Switch OLED at the start of this year and I went on the next journey to find the best price for it. So thank you for watching. Like I say, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.